Now let's start executing operations with the categories. I'm going to create a separate controller for the categories. And while this is not necessary, I like to keep things separate so that the controllers don't grow too much. So I've created a folder called controllers and I'm moving the product controller into that folder. Then right clicking on that folder, I can create a new controller and I'm going to call that category controller. Then I'll create a method to add categories. And this method will take as a parameter a category object. And just as we did in the product controller, we're going to use the using statement to create a new product's context. And all we need to do is to call the add method against the DB context. And it already knows that it's a category because of the object that we're passing. So it can infer the DB set that we are using. And then we call this save changes method. I'm also going to create a folder for the services because I want to create a category service. So I need to move the product service into that folder. And the first method will be to add a new category and I'm calling it insert category. So I'm creating a new category object. And I'm going to say that the name of this category comes from the user. So I'm using ANSI console.ask to get that input from the user. And I'm passing the string categories name, which will be displayed in the console. Then I need to call the controller, passing that object. In the enums class, I need to add the option to add a category to the menu options enum. And in the main menu, I need to add the correspondent option. So first let's add that to the add choices method. And then we need to add a switch option, which we'll call the category service and the method insert category. And that should be enough to add a new category. Let's start the application and see if we can do it successfully. I get asked the category's name, I input coffee. And if I open the database, I can see the coffee record. And that's it for adding a new category. Now let's try to get all the categories. In the categories controller, we're going to create a get categories method. And in this method, we need to create a new product context. And we're creating a categories variable that will be a list of the categories. And this time we need to call the categories DB set. And then we are returning these categories, which is the return type of the get categories method. Then we need to add a method in the service. And we're creating a categories variable, and that will be the result of calling the get categories method in the controller. Then we're going to call a method that doesn't exist yet in the user interface, and that's the show category table. And we're going to pass a list of categories into that method. So in the user interface class, let's create that method. So I made a copy of the show product table method and I'll do the modifications. Everything that's called product 
we will change to category and everything that's called products we will change to categories then we need a get categories option in the menu options and we need to add the changes to the main menu so let's pass it as a parameter to the add choices method and we will also create a switch option to get all categories and that's it let's try to run the app and see if we can visualize our list and it works as intended we only have one category in our list and we can see it